what I'm looking at right here are eight goose, Canada goose shell decoys that I just picked up. I'll have to say this is one of my best purchases I've made in, re in recent times here. Me and the rest of the guys are pretty new to duck hunting. We have a bunch of duck decoys right now that are um, all second hand and we bought them off Craigslist. I keep looking at classified ads and stuff because I've been wanting to add some goose decoys to the spread. So this morning I happened to just be browsing and I see these Canada goose shells for $10. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with goose decoys, but holy smokes, they're normally going $20 a piece. Like, I just came across an ad and I just laughed because I just looked up some shell decoys on the classifieds and there's a guy selling seven shell decoys for a hundred bucks. And I got eight for 10. And they're in just good condition. I just um, hosed them all down and wiped them off. And right now I'm just, uh, putting all the heads in this box. Like obviously these are just, they're good. They, you could see, yeah, there's a little bit of scuffs on the white. If I can get that to focus for you guys. You know, they're not brand new, but they're a decoy and it's gonna work. But I thought, you know what? I got nothing going on. I'm gonna wash these off a little bit, bring them inside and just touch them up with some paint and just really make them pop. So I'm really excited. And I just thought cleaning them here, I thought I'd share this with you guys, so. If you do search for long enough, you're gonna find good deals on decoys. I have yet to uh, been convinced that I am ever gonna need to buy decoys new because it's just ridiculously expensive. And especially we're all in college and stuff and we don't have money to be buying $200, $300 brand new decoys. So we're gonna get these all tidied up, painted, and I'll show you guys how to go. Basically, they don't really need much. I'm just gonna paint the white stripe in a little better and then just kind of finish it because like the real Canada goose has a stripe that goes all the way under its neck. Just to add some more realism so it can't hurt and it's kind of fun. So just kind of add your own little artistic, creative stuff to decoys that eventually can help, help you hunt better. So right here, I got my uh, inspirational piece my uh, model that I'm gonna be painting and yeah, so I'm gonna get to it all right here they are the finished products I had to do a few coats to really get that full white look but man they look Good now. Here are the, the feeding ones. And as you can see, I got that white strip all the way around the bottom of the neck just for that more realistic look. I, I have I took a before picture on both the feeding and the, the straight up ones, and I've been comparing them to the what I got now, and it's crazy. I, at first I didn't think they looked that bad, but now that I have I redid them. Just the original just looks terrible. So, there it is. I'm gonna um, be giving them a try tomorrow morning. Never ran full bodies before. Me and Spencer went out to our spot that we duck hunt, that we, we hunted all last season. Went out two days ago, hunted it for the first time this season, and it's not looking too good. There's no water there. There's not as much water as there used to be. So hopefully we get some weather here soon and it fills up a little bit. So I can't promise a bunch of action or any at all actually, because last we saw two ducks the other day and they did one circle around and took off. They didn't like what they saw. So hopefully not only will these goose decoys give us um, a chance of bringing in some honkers into the spread, but even just giving our spread um, a better look for the ducks and giving them more confidence to come in. So it hopefully it will work and benefit both sides for ducks and geese. So anyways, I'll um, see you out there tomorrow. No ducks today or geese.
there was hardly any birds flying. We saw, we had a, four ducks fly over us early this morning, but they didn't want to come in. But anyways, I just thought I'd follow up with one last video of how the decoys end up looking. And, yeah, they are, they looked pretty good out here on this. All right, sorry this morning's hunt did not go, or sorry this morning's hunt wasn't exciting and we didn't shoot any birds, nor did we even hardly see any birds, we saw four ducks. Sorry about that, but that's the way it goes here. It's still early season and there's just not any water in the surrounding ag field, so the birds really aren't in the area yet, so. It's kind of hitting us right now, but we still love getting out there. But now I'm gonna just uh, continue working on some decoys. And basically, right here we got uh, six brand new mallard decoys. These are Spencer's he picked up last year on Black Friday. So have never even used them yet. So since we don't have any new weights, what I'm basically gonna do is uh, salvage some weights from a set of old decoys we haven't been bringing out. And what I'm going to do is, is take these weights off and rig up these six decoys right here just so we have some new and fresh decoys in the spread. And then what I'm going to do with a few of these that I think are just still worthy and good, we're going to do some full bodies, some DIY full body decoys. If you guys are familiar with Josh from Outdoor Limits, he recently just put up a video of how to do this exact method. He did a whole how-to on how to do cheap, at-home, DIY, full-body decoys. So I'm gonna do that with some of these old decoys and rig up some new ones and just uh, take you guys along for the, for the ride here. So right now, just kind of choosing which decoys I'm gonna steal off those rigs to make full bodies and I think we have ourselves a candidate here. This girl right here was full of water she took she took some damage last season apparently so yeah she's getting promoted to full body now so yeah I got some mallards here we have so many pintail decoys that I thought we'd use the mallards here trying to get some more mallard into the mix here we got a bunch of pintails and now with the new decoys we got some mallards too so basically first step you get these slide perfectly right into the keel. So basically, I'm just gonna bend this over and it's a perfect stand. There she has it, see that? And there you have it folks. Full body. Okay, I might have to balance this out a little bit better. And there you have it folks, full body, ready to go. For a buck. These are a buck at the dollar store. And then I got the black spray paint. Now I'm just gonna bend them all, spray paint them, and they're good to go. And that's how we're gonna have six full bodies, just like that. That was way easier than I thought it was going to be. This is just so next level. That's just perfect. I'm so excited to get these out there. Alright, time to paint them. While I'm waiting for that paint to dry, I'm going to move on to taking these old weights from those decoys that I just made into full bodies and I'm going to use those to rig up those brand new decoys. So first step, Let's cut off some weights. These are all just a bunch of old weights uh, from bit, like fishing weights that uh, Brian's dad uh, was kind enough to let us have. He had a whole box of them. So we actually rigged up close to like 40 decoys last season with all these extra weights. So first things first, we want to get our decoy here. And I think we were running about four feet long on this cord. But you also want to account for the loops we're going to make here at the end. So what I like to do is just cut them all first, just so 
I could just keep going back to back and cut them all and they'll just all be the same length. So first order of business is get, uh, we'll take two crimps out for this duck. We'll make our initial loop. Oh, I forgot. You need to go through the crimp first because you're going to come back around and loop back into the crimp. Into the keel. Into the, take our pliers here and crimp this guy shut. And I like to crimp both ends of the keel, I mean, both ends of, I like to crimp both ends of the crimp. <laughs> that way it just has a, it's a little more secure. I'll try to get in here and show you guys what I'm doing here. Crimping down. So basically, here we have it. There's our first loop into the decoy. And what I like to do is, as each decoy I do, I do like one in the front, and then I'll I'll hook the next one up in the back, just so like I don't know. I've heard that maybe they they'll so they're not all facing the same way or something like that. I don't know. It gives them some variation, so they don't all look so uniform in the water. I guess maybe it's not real. Maybe it is. I don't know. So the next, we'll just take our weight, slide it in, so it can slide all the way up and down. That way, when we pick our up pick up our decoys, the weight slides down, and then when you throw them back in the water, the weight comes back down and keeps them set. And then, get the crimp, and you just do a whole nother loop, just to keep that uh, weight from coming off, and then you got a loop for your carabiner. And just like that, she's all rigged up. And it's a nice green head right there. We've got the decoys all rigged up. Brand new, six mallards. Three drakes, three hens. These are definitely gonna put some nice color into our spread. Our other decoys are pretty torn up, but last year they got the job done, so. Yeah, so if you guys have any different ways or better ways that you guys like to rig your decoys up or anything, we'd love to hear about it. So let us know in the comments. Cause I mean, not saying this is the right way, maybe. You guys are thinking the way I'm doing it is stupid. So I always want to know some more efficient and better ways as well. All right, so let's check out these full bodies now after this paint dry. Gonna run a few more coats on these black. The black full body. Perfect. It's a decoy. And it goes. Full body. Ready to go. You gotta balance it a little bit. And the paint's wet, so I'm scraping paint off still. I guess it's not as dry, so I'm gonna have to let these sit overnight and stuff. But just for the purpose of the video, here they are one more time. So I'm real excited to throw these in with those uh, those geese shells that I just picked up yesterday. And it's just gonna make it more lively. So the place that we're hunting right now just doesn't have a lot, as much water as it used to. So if it doesn't get any better, we're gonna have to deal with the islands that have been made due to the low water levels. So what I'm thinking is, is putting full bodies up there, the geese, the geese shells and some full body ducks and just make them really feel comfortable. Like show them that, hey, this is a good spot. And hopefully we're gonna have a video of us killing ducks real soon because it's been slow, but like I said, I'm hoping to pick, it'll pick up as the winter starts to get going here. So anyways, Thanks for watching. Follow us on Instagram if you haven't already for more live updates. We do a lot on our stories to kind of show you what we're doing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up on that like button and comment below if you have any tips, suggestions, or you want to say hello. Otherwise, subscribe if you want to keep uh, following along and seeing uh, how this uh, season goes. So anyways, until next time, thank you guys.